Tamilnadu and Puducherry are on high alert with cyclone Neva expected to make landfall on November 25 afternoon between Karikal and Mamalapuram while rains are expected in southern Andhra Pradesh a deep depression is brewing over the bay of Bengal and is most likely to turn into a severe cyclonic storm by Tuesday and cross the coast on Wednesday according to the Indian Meteorological Department IMD Let me give an introduction about cyclone Cyclone refers to any spinning storm that rotates around a low pressure center closed low level atmospheric circulation strong winds and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce a heavy rain cyclones are characterized by inward spiral winds that rotate about a zone of low air pressure cyclones form due to latent heat driven by significant thunderstorm activity cyclones are also seen on the extraterrestrial planets such as mars neptune meso cyclones tornadoes are live within the smaller meso scale warm core cyclones such as tropical cyclones and subtropical cyclones are live within the synoptic scale types of cyclones the term cyclone actually refers to several different types of storm there are three types of cyclones the first one is tropical cyclones the second one polar cyclones and the third one meso cyclones polar cyclones polar cyclones occur in polar region like greenland siberia and antarctica meso cyclone meso cyclone occurs when part of a thunderstorm cloud starts to spin which eventually lead to a tornado meso means middle formation of cyclones tropical cyclones form only over warm ocean waters near the equator to form a cyclone warm moist air over the ocean rises upward from near the surface as this air moves up and away from the ocean surface it leaves less air near the surface as the warm air rises it causes an area of lower air pressure below air from surrounding areas with higher air pressure pushes in to the low pressure area then this new cool air becomes warm and moist and rises too and the cycle continues as the warm moist air rises and cools the water in the air forms clouds the whole system of clouds and wind spins and grows fed by the ocean's heat and water evaporating from the ocean surface as the storm system rotates faster and faster an eye forms in the center it is very calm and clear in the eye with very low air pressure higher pressure air from above flows down into the eye when the winds in the rotating storm reach 63 km per hour the storm is called a tropical storm when the wind speeds 
reach 119 km per hour the storm is officially a tropical cyclone or hurricane cyclone categories category 1 when the wind gusts up to 125 km per hour it's called a gales the damage is trees and farmland damaged category 2 126 to 169 km per hour it's destructive minor house damage severe damage to signs and trees heavy damage to crops category 3 170 to 224 km per hour it's very destructive house roofs and most likely power failures category 4 225 to 279 km per hour it's very destructive airborne debris widespread power failure and the last category winds above 280 km per hour it's also very destructive houses flattened cars overturned one more cause of a cyclone to initiate a tropical cyclone the sea surface temperature generally needs to be above 26.5 degree celsius however existing cyclones often persist as they move over cooler water the main source of energy for cyclones is the warm oceans in the tropical regions effects of cyclones cyclones cause heavy rainfall and landslides they cause lot of harm to towns and villages causing severe damage kacha houses they harm the ecosystem of the surrounding regions agricultural land is severely affected especially in terms of water supply and soil erosion it causes harm to human plant and animal life communication systems are badly affected due to cyclones social cause includes loss of life and livelihood loss of crops leading to food scarcity education and other services destroyed increased burden government to rebuild areas affected and men for other projects must now be used to repair the damage done by the cyclones cyclones can make the sewage pipes block up and stop working and sewage can split everywhere which also causes disease never never is the third name to be used on the new list of names for north indian ocean cyclones released in 2020 it was suggested by iran how did never get its name in 2000 the world meteorological organization and the united nations economic and social commission for asia and the pacific reached upon an agreement to name the tropical cyclones in the bay of bengal and the arabian sea in a formal like manner and the members of the panel that is bangladesh india maldives myanmar oman pakistan sri lanka and thailand gave 13 names each iran qatar saudi arabia the uae and yemen were also added to the panel in 2018 Never is one of the names on the list released in April that has 169 names of cyclones a compilation of 13 suggestions each from 13 countries in May cyclone Ampan left a trail of devastation in West Bengal and Odisha Ampan 
pronounced as umpun means sky and was suggested by Thailand in 2004 the name never is selected as per the suggestions from iran this is the third name to be used from the list of names for north indian ocean cycle released in 2020 the word never means prevention do's and don'ts before cyclone ignore rumors and do not panic keep phones charged use sms keep tab on weather updates prepare emergency kit with essential items keep documents and valuables in waterproof containers untie cattle animals to ensure safety during and after cyclone switch off power mains and gas supply keep doors and windows shut drink boiled or chlorinated water rely only on official warning not social media post do not enter damaged buildings avoid parking cars and vehicles under trees Don't travel when the cyclone makes a landfall. When a cyclone watch is issued, fill vehicles fuel tank. Check your emergency kit and fill water containers. Tune to your local radio or TV for further information and warnings. Check that neighbors are aware of the situation and are preparing. After the cyclone Don't go outside until officially advised it is safe. Check for gas leaks. Don't use electric appliances if wet. Listen to local radio for official warnings and advice. If you have to evacuate or did so earlier, don't return until advised. Beware of damaged power lines, bridges, buildings, trees. and don't enter flood waters do not drink water from unknown sources as it may be contaminated thank you